Okay, now we will see withholding tax during payment postings. We have already seen how to calculate withholding tax during invoice posting. Now we will see how to calculate withholding tax during payment posting. Alright, for that you need to define the withholding tax type for payment posting and not this one. We will define this. Enter country key US. Right, whichever country where your company is located, then press new entries. Withholding tax type enter two WHT for five percent during invoice payment, something like that, and leave the rest as it is. Just press save go back now you have to define the withholding tax code again enter country US so we will click new entry because this withholding tax type 1 which has already been created for withholding tax during invoice posting now you have to create another one choose the withholding tax type 2 Victorian tax code of W2 and enter the description of WHT 5% during invoice payment and percentage subject to tax is 100 100% is taxable posting indicator choose 1 and the tax rate of 5% should be entered here you know all this press save, data was saved and assign withholding tax types to company codes choose this position to sun company code withholding tax type of 1 is already assigned so you need to assign number 2 press new entries enter sun company code withholding tax type choose the 2 and click this enter the date range from when to when it's applicable enter forever something like this ok save it this portion here is not relevant ok we normally calculate withholding tax for vendor postings vendor invoice postings we don't calculate withholding tax for customer normally if for any country in the world there is such a requirement to calculate withholding tax for customer invoice posting then you to make use of this section here this is to calculate withholding tax for customer invoices posting alright saved and now activate extended withholding tax already been activated just to make sure go here and see it's already activated so you don't have to do anything and the uh, GL account to post the withholding tax amount is over here just check whether there is a withholding tax sorry there is a GL account assigned to the withholding tax it's already assigned now you are ready to post a invoice so just change it to 2 when the 4002 press enter withholding tax type choose 2 during invoice payment and withholding tax code W2 and check this liable save it press enter just copy this what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to post an invoice and I'll show you that the invoice that withholding tax amount will not be calculated because this withholding tax type of 2 is defined as the withholding tax during payment posting and not during invoice posting Let's choose the cost of sales and enter 1000 and simulate center. See, if the withholding tax is not calculated because this withholding tax type of 2 will not be calculated during invoice posting. Once again, let me show you. Since the withholding tax type 2 is created for during payment posting. Let me show you. See? 
Victorian tax type 2 is under the Victorian tax type during payment posting so it will not be calculated during invoice posting only the Victorian tax types created under the invoice posting will be used during invoice postings let's go post this now and then we go to invoice payment posting and make sure that the Victorian tax is calculated see the document is posted I'm going to copy this document 19009 I go to outgoing payment and go from here I have dash 52 sorry this is incoming payment yeah sorry incoming payment we need to post incoming payment not outgoing payment F dash 52 oh no 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 this is let me just check document entry outgoing payment post this F dash 53 not F 52 so we're going to make payment to the vendor <laughs> let me just choose the default or basic data which is the bank data choose cash in bank enter 1000 no you have to enter only 950 because the 50 dollars will be gone for Italian tax choose 40002 and process open items okay this is the invoice that we posted right you just select this we have entered only 950 because the 50 dollars remaining amount will go to the Italian tax just select it and simulate cash in bank requires a due date that's why it's highlighted in blue just select it and simulate again simulate exchange rate difference account incomplete for 4001 so if you get an error message like this all you have to do is just go to IMG let me open a new session of IMG SPRO go to business transaction outgoing payment outgoing payment global settings define accounts for exchange rate differences choose sun chart of accounts sorry uh, not this one yeah this is the one yeah there's already a uh, exchange rate loss against account defined for GL account 2003 this account is actually trade debtors account let me just prove it to you I'm going to paste this here see this is trade debtors so similarly you need to create one more entry for trade creditors and define the exchange rate gain and loss accounts let us quickly do that press new entries choose exchange rate trade creditors 401 that is I am choosing trade creditors because this is invoice posting for accounts payable so accounts payable posting goes to reconciliation account or trade creditors so therefore you have to choose trade creditors account which is 4001 and define a exchange rate gain a loss account you, got to, you can select the same account this one select this loss okay save it it is saved so you can see an entry for 4001 now All right once again see you have define exchange rate gain a loss account for 2003 which is trade debtors and 4001 which is trade creditors so now both are defined under this step here is under 
financial accounting, account receivable, accounts payable, business transaction, outgoing payments, outgoing payments, global settings, and define accounts for exchange rate differences. So now this error message will be cleared off. Okay, see move. I think you have to quit and then come back again. Oh, not necessarily. It's already taken into account. See this nine zero zero one zero one zero is taken from this account here, this settings. Right. Four zero zero one exchange rate different. Just enter an assignment as dummy entry. Simulate. Actually, there should not be any exchange rate differences calculated for this posting because all are in USD amount. Our local currency is USD, but for some reason the system is asking for exchange rate difference key. But it makes sure it doesn't post anything to the account. That's why it's zero. Right, so just set if if you get the error message, just specify exchange rate gain a loss account. Now, just ignore this line and then we look at this line here. See, withholding tax has been calculated, which is $50 for 400 is posted to 40002. Okay, now we have seen withholding tax is computed during invoice payment postings all right it was not posted during invoice posting which is this sorry let me change to document currency which is this remember we posted an invoice for thousand dollars using this document the withholding tax is not computed for invoice posting but is being calculated when you making the payment for the invoice because you're using a in withholding tax type of this withholding tax tax type of payment posting, so therefore is being computed during invoice payment posting. So that's about it. You can proceed to save this.